so first game here, we're going to be playing Silencia Ramp. So it's going to be green and white. Um, we're going to be using a lot of landfall triggers, cards like Skewed Swarm, fell at our retreat to fill up the battlefield and overwhelm our opponent. Um, it's kind of a mid-range deck. It's not too aggro. Kind of takes a while to get going. So we just drop a forest for our first turn. So he casts his own Prosperous Innkeeper. We have one in our hand there. That's probably what we're going to put out next turn. He drops Cleric Class. Uh, sacks his Treasure Token. So it looks like we're dealing with some life gain. So there's our own Innkeeper. We get our own Treasure Token. So that's going to give us a mana advantage. So on turn 3, we're going to be able to cast something for 4 mana. We normally would have had to wait for. So he's got another life gain creature out there. This time it's a 1-4, so it's going to be a little harder to kill. Alright, so let's see if we go for the chariot or the, uh... Okay. Eska's chariot. So when this comes into play, we're going to get two 2-2 two, two cat tokens. Then we gain two life because of the uh, innkeeper. Every time a creature comes into play under your control, we're going to gain a life from the innkeeper. He casts Hollowed Priest. That thing is really annoying. It's an arena-only card. Every time he gains life, that's getting a 1-1 one, one counter. So that thing's going to get big pretty quick. That's going to be a big problem. He's probably not going to... Or yeah, he can't attack with it yet. It still has summoning sickness. If you get unnatural growth there, we definitely want to get that out early. That's going to double the power and toughness of our creatures during each combat. So we put that down to the forest and then we cast uh, Yasharn. So when he comes into play, we get to search our library for a basic plains and a basic forest and put them into our hand. So now we're going to crew the chariot with Yasharn. That's perfect because he can't attack, but we can still tap him for that ability. So now when the chariot attacks, we're going to get to create a copy of a token we control. So for now, it's just going to be a cat token, but as you can see here, we're starting to fill the board up. I was hesitant there because he can kill it, but I think he's just going to take the damage because he doesn't want that... Uh, that Hollowed Priest is uh, his win condition, basically, probably. These life gain decks are annoying to play against, and they're very effective, but... Uh, usually, if uh, you're able to remove one of their big creatures, or um, they can kind of run out of steam pretty quick, so... So he's got Impassioned Orator out. So now he's going to gain even more life every time he gets a creature under his control. Yeah, I think it's going to start getting huge. He's not going to attack yet because I can still, uh, if I block with all my cats, that uh, his creature will die. So I'm thinking about probably the uh, Ren and Seven or uh, the Skewed Swarm. Because once we get the Scoot Swarm out, that's going to start making insect tokens on landfall triggers, but... Okay, yeah, this is the much better play. So now everything's going to double its power and toughness during combat. Yeah, he's, he's looking at that. He sees it. He knows what's up. So now it's going to be an 8-8 during combat. Yeah, and as you can see there, he's... uh. He's got some problems now. So we're going to attack him with our 288s. And we're going to get another cat token. Okay, so he chooses to keep his priest alive still. So we hit him for 8, but he's only down to 20 because he was gaining a lot of life those first few turns. I 
think he's gonna fight. Yeah, he's gonna fight one of our creatures here. So we're gonna lose the Yasharn. So that's a six-six now. Let's see if he chooses to attack or not. He might not want to leave himself open. All right, so he's casting a two-two beast there. Yeah, and he's just gonna keep gaining life, and that's gonna keep getting bigger. Oh yeah, so he's probably not gonna attack because we can still kill that with our two, uh, just with two cat tokens still because of the unnatural growth. I think is nasty. We should probably cast the Ren and Seven here because uh, once that's out, we're gonna be able to make those uh, tree folk tokens. Okay, yeah, we're gonna hit his minus three here and make a tree branch. So that's a six six. It's gonna be a twelve twelve on combat now. That that is nasty. A lot of these life gain decks, they don't re people don't realize if they just added a little bit of removal enchantment or creature removal, they'd be so much more effective. A lot of people just don't play removal for whatever reason. So he's probably going to kill our... He can kill the Chariot here with the Hollowed Priest, but... Um, I don't know what he's going to choose to do, but we're going to get to make another uh, Tree Branch here. So now we're going to have two 12-12s uh, on combat. Yeah, I think he's overwhelmed here. It's not really going to matter what he starts blocking with, but... He keeps the Priest alive still. He only has one card left in his hand, but he can pump up, pump up the uh, cleric class here. That will give him some additional life gain abilities. Ooh, pacifism, old school. So he throws pacifism on the tree branch, so now that can no longer attack or block. Yeah, he says good game. He knows it's over. So we're finally getting out the skewed swarm. This usually. Sometimes I consider removing it because it doesn't always help the deck that much. Sometimes it can, though, with the life gain, but I feel like more times than not, uh, when we're winning, we, we're not usually playing our Skewed Swarm. So now we're going to use his plus one ability. That can backfire sometimes. So we look at the top four. Yeah, and we put the lands into our hand, but we lost. We had to put uh, two We had to put the non-land cards into our graveyard. That doesn't matter, though. I think it's pretty much over here. We're just going to attack with everything. Yeah, and that's just nasty. That unnatural growth, you do have to pay uh, four green mana five total but it is still once that's out it's over but we saw we they added more uh enchantment removal to kamigawa so i guess they're trying to curb some of that yeah we're just creating more uh tree branches here he's keeping the priest alive still but again i don't really think it, it doesn't matter If only he had some kind of board uh, clearer in his deck. Yeah, and this should be his last turn. I, uh, he's overwhelmed here. Yeah, once you really get the synergy in this deck of copy and the tokens, uh, it's pretty hard to deal with. So he's going to attack uh, Ren. That's funny. And we're not going to let Ren die. Even if it doesn't make a difference in the game. 
And so that's a 14-14 now. So he's uh, he's finally going to lose the priest. Yeah, and he just concedes. Okay, so we're doing another game with Silencia Ramp. Uh, very starting, uh, different starting hand this time. Got some Rook Razors. Uh, no Skewed Swarms, no Eskis Chariot. Hate to say, but when you don't get the Eskis Chariot early game, it can kind of uh, can kind of be a bad sign. So he drops a mana creature there, and then we're going to uh, probably cast the Innkeeper here. Okay, so we got our treasure token, and then again, we're going to be gaining one life every time a creature comes into play under our control. Okay, so Quandrex Cultivator, so he's doing some mana ramp here. So that lets him fetch an additional land when that comes into play. And he's able to put it on the battlefield. So we're going to sack our treasure token and get out Felidar Retreat early. So now every time we have a landfall, we're going to get the choice of a 2-2 Cat Beast. Or putting a 1-1 counter on each creature we control. And give it Vigilance to end the turn. But he casts Storm the Festival very early. That is brutal. He gets out Eska and Ren. He's running a lot of the same green cards we are, but looks like his deck is uh, ramping more successfully right now. So I'm probably going to take that damage. I don't want the Innkeeper to die yet. I'm hoping to benefit from some of the life gain. So those are unnatural growth again, but we're going to have to uh, work a little bit to get that out. So we're going to let the enter tap, we don't want to pay 3 life, but we are going to get our 2-2 two, two cat beast. But he's pretty far ahead of us right now, but we have Skyclave Apparition there, so we could uh, exile one of his permanents, convert a mana cost 4 or less, and we're probably going to take out the chariot. It can't uh, target a token. Ren is uh, 5 mana cost, so can't do him yet, so we're going to do the chariot. So now that's exiled, but when the uh, Skyclave Apparition dies, he's going to get a 4-4 blue illusion token. So he does Ren's plus one. Oh, that was a good one for him. So we got two lands, and now he has uh, two Storm the Festivals in his graveyard that he, he can cast for flashback. Ten mana, but he's just, he's just getting more and more lands out, so... Now that token's a 7-7. Seven, seven. 7-7 seven, seven tree branch, so. Yeah, he, this is probably his game in a couple turns. We do run uh, more removal and uh, some board clears than the uh, sideboard, but we're just playing best of three, so. I'm sorry, we're playing best of one, so that's not going to be a factor here. We can't access our sideboard. So we're gonna get two landfalls from the evolving wild. So we're gonna we're probably gonna make two uh, cat tokens. Oh no, we're, okay, yeah, we're gonna do that. But I noticed the uh, innkeeper's gone, so no more life gain. We had the block with them last turn, though. There was no way we could have taken uh, ten damage. It only would have been six then, because we would have gained four life, but still, we're just more overwhelmed here at this moment. So it looks like he's going to have enough mana for another one of those Storm the Festivals, so yeah, this is, this is brutal. So that card lets you look at the top seven, and then two cards, mana cost five or less, come onto the battlefield for free, and yeah, he just... Yeah, that was gonna be... He was gonna keep making more uh, tree branches, so we were done there. 